Hello everybody, Cal Merritt here. Uh, in a previous video I did a thing on the Enderman farm that I created and as everybody could see during that time I was having a little bit of an issue with uh, Enderman porting out of their little holding cell. I don't like that very much. So what I went ahead and did uh, just to kind of update it a little bit I decided to go ahead and create a half slab ceiling put a little bit uh, more lighting uh, throughout the area um, this used to be a long wall uh, long wall of uh, chess it still is I just uh, to make it so that um, the Enderman can't spawn I created a little bit of a an upper area here that's still only two and a half blocks so they won't be able to spawn up here either um, and you could gain access to the top boxes if need be um, I might go ahead and take these out uh, at a later time uh, but for right now it's just going to sit like this uh, and I'll probably make use of the top area here it's got a pretty decent size area that can still be used um, at least for some purposes uh, I will have to run uh, I will have to deal with the uh, everything being uh, stood up about a half slab higher I'll have to put another half slab down just to kinda level it out a little bit um, but if I put a half slab down uh, well actually in this area I probably wouldn't have that problem due to the fact that it's still only two and a half and once put a half slab down it'll make it a two block high and they need three block uh, worth of uh, space in order to spawn in it um, once I went ahead and did this and ran uh, a few tests uh, getting them aggravated and and killing them I didn't have that problem anymore and to where they were porting out so I figured uh, I'll go a little bit step further. I uh, added in some pillars for design measures and some iron bar just to kind of give it a uh, give it a like uh, that holding cell feel. Um, I do have a couple plans in mind uh, of what I'd like to do uh, for future updates of this. Is uh, is actually go ahead and like on this level up here where these window panes are is actually put some tripwire that's going to lead down to uh that'll lead down with redstone and i'm figuring what i'll do is probably run some redstone lamps along uh, along here in various uh, in various spots um i'll probably extend this wall out a little uh one block so that it matches the other side um, I got this extra little space here um, to walk on uh, but I figured I'd put some redstone lamps around so that when the endermen fall down it kind of trigger uh, triggers like a disco effect because they're hit uh, they'll hit the uh, the trip wire to start uh, to light up the the lamps and I understand that the uh, that the lights themselves the it, I might ixnay the whole entire plan, but I figured I'd try it out first uh, before I decide not to do it. Um, tell me what you think, if you think it's a good idea. Uh, if not, uh, post your comments and let me know if, uh, if that sounds something cool to have. Uh, if not, uh, I... I I'll just leave it out and just leave it as this. Um, I do have. Uh, I did go ahead and half slab all this too, and also I finished off the room here to make it a little bit better. I probably might. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I might open up the space above these two rooms uh, so that these could be walked on. Uh, so that the whole entire area is open uh, I'm not quite sure yet I might leave it as uh, just like it is um, but I think the problem that I was having that even though this was half slabbed I think they were using uh, the area where the mine uh, the 
I'm not sure if they can if they can port to an area where the minecart is, but I didn't want to see if that was the problem. But I think the problem I was having is that they were they were they were stepping on the chest, which is considered a solid block if I'm not mistaken. And I also have some chests over here that they could have also spawned on or not spawned on for at least teleported to because they have the ability to teleport within 25 blocks away um, so that could have been the issue I was having because I couldn't uh, they can't teleport into an airspace they have to actually be on a a solid block in order to teleport um, <clears throat> now they could have also done the uh, teleport into the water above but if I'm not mistaken they they're not built to go that way but I don't know I, I, so I just figured the easiest route to do would just be to half slap the whole entire ceiling uh, to be at least two and a half blocks high that way there's no mistaken that they would spawn on the, in the area um let me know what you think. Uh, I'm hoping that the design uh, design view actually looks pretty cool. If if people do like it, I uh, will most likely be taking this uh, this design, putting it into MC Edit and uh, creating a schematic for MCSchematic.com. Um, username on there would be Merit009. Uh, I hope to hear uh, hear some comments on what you think of the newer update uh, versus the old update uh, I know a lot of people wouldn't want to have to deal with uh, having the Enderman pop out and they'd have to chase them down because of the fact that this is a half slab floor uh, you do run the chances of having like XP orbs and all that getting stuck if they're killed there so you want to make sure that the that everything that's killed is on a solid block so that if it happens to fall on a half slab you are able to get it if things are killed on a half slab on the other hand everything actually it, it's treated as a uh, it's treated like the transparent block um, which it is but in some cases whenever something drops on a half slab it does have the tendency from time to time to actually go ahead and fall through I don't understand why this happens but it does happen occasionally which makes it very very difficult to pick up items and XP orbs so let me know uh, let me know what you think uh, I'm hoping that uh, that the whole entire design is in a a bust uh, so far it's working to my expectations um, and I probably have a few further additives at a later date um, maybe create like a I might uh, like I said with the new update with the hopper system um, I will be at uh, adding that in uh, I did do some work on a chess system to where I'll have um, I'll have the ability to uh, turn it on to peaceful mode so the items are just sitting on the floor and instead of going up uh, going in the direction of uh, going and picking uh, going and picking everything up and sent and then going to a chest and clicking on everything that I'd actually take and uh, put like almost like a water dispensary system um, a wall will most likely be built along the sides uh, and leave the front open uh, and then have a long row of hoppers uh, down this uh, down this side and then it'll be everything will be uh, transported into a holding tank or it basically go through the hoppers and then automatically fill all the chests that I have built um, I know that I can have at least eight chests in a row so that would make it a little bit easier um, so that's uh, now that they have the trap chest you could actually 
put them side to, uh, side by side so you can actually have eight uh, chests deep and uh, so that you can actually get a, ma a nice storage system going. Um, I've already got that pretty much planned out and tested and it works uh, great. I just have to implement it when the update comes out. Um, that right there will be an extra additive onto this particular farm. Uh, and it'll make it so that it's basically an automated farm when you're not uh, when you're not using it uh, you take and uh, put it on peaceful mode uh, I probably could actually set it up to be um, I'll have to probably get a hold of Seth Bling and find a uh, uh, find a, a code for the command blocks to where it would make it so that like this particular area that is uh, that as soon as you step into it it automatically turns it to um, automatically turns it to like easy mode or hard mode and turns it to survival or something like that to make it so that um, like once you step out of it it takes you back to peaceful mode and takes care of all the mobs for you um, I'm not quite sure if I want to go uh, do that yet. Um, it's just an idea that I'm mulling over. Uh, if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, also, uh, if you are one of the people that likes dealing with peaceful mode a lot, um, or just deals with creative mode, but still wants that option, uh, let me know. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I, I'd like to find out what's going, uh, what to do, and what could be an added bonus for uh, for this farm, or even an idea, uh, an idea I may have that might be something cool that you'd like to do on yours. Um, uh, let me know. Uh, post comments at, uh, at the bottom. I'd like to hear from you, and. I'll post some more videos on uh, on other builds that I've done in my world, and more uh, more than welcome to take some uh, ideas and implement them. Uh, I will give th uh, thanks to people for the designs that they come up with, uh, or cool ideas that they uh, that they would like to see implemented into a design that they might want to use themselves if uh, once I get this all put into mcschematic.com uh, once again post comments let me know